Live from our media center at High Malakau, this is the City Review News. Welcome to Afternoon News Bulletin. My name is Patricia Dominic. Now the headlines. Eastern Equatorial State Representative in the State Parliament suggests formation of council. U.S. shows concerns on the conflicts in Lear County. And Athian urges young girls to participate in boxing. The news in detail. The Deputy Chairperson for Legal Affairs in Eastern Equatorial State Transitional Legislative Assembly Likali Olom has called on a state government to form a council that would help implement by laws and customary laws at the grassroots. Likali, who represents Lovon County in the state parliament, said the counties are operating without councils and the payams have no administrators. Meanwhile, the United States Embassy in Juba has shown concerns over the fresh reports of fighting in Lear County Unity State. The embassy issued a statement on Wednesday stating that it was particularly concerned about reports of casualties and displacement of civilians and called for immediate remedial measure. This was after the forces allied to General Simon Magwek clashed with forces of SPLM IO in Lear County earlier this week. And on to the spot, the president of South Sudan Boxing Federation, Teresa Athian, has urged young girls to participate in boxing reports as they strive to break traditional gender stereotypes. During her address to journalists at SSBF's headquarters in Cuba, ahead of celebration of the 16 days of activism, she said, ladies would break gender stereotypes immensely by entering boxing ring. For more news, visit our website at www.cityreviewss.com. Stay tuned and have a good day.